Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> so, um, two successes, right? Yes. That was to enhance the rumor. Yes. Everyone is falling for it. Everyone's like, oh, that dirty caitiff. And you guys see just how much pre prejudice there is, even within their own sect. Mm. Just because she doesn't have a clan. The Nosferatu, of course, don't believe them. The Nosferatu are just staring at, you, at whoever's coming to them speaking this, and just staring at them like they're the most hated person in the world. Well, they are the, the, the holders of all knowledge, so I mean... Yeah, a... yeah. Oh no, it's not even just that, because remember how I said she is basically adopted into the Maseratu. So hearing one of their own being trashed like this... I wonder if there's some way we can point the finger at the Nosferatu and cause an even greater Ooh. rift. Or Would you I like me to? Uh... Especially I, I want to. I want to go over toward um, uh, what's uh, Saria? S S S How do you Samira? Samira, and like uh -huh. gently whisper in her ear. Maybe we should turn this toward the Gangrel and the Nosferatu. Why the gangrel? Why not? They're just little pets anyway. True. Might be a little harder to sell. Um... Now, out of character, you guys are. You guys know that the gangrel very much so are against the Sabbat. They were one of the biggest yeah, against it. Like, even within their own clan. What I'm saying is, like, the we, we say that the gangrel are the ones who are spreading it. Oh! Because the Nosferatu the aren't following spreading. for it. So, the gangrel are the ones who are spreading Nosferatu, for it. Turn the two against the each other. The Nosferatu are in on it. They're with the Sabbat, too, maybe. That's what I was thinking. Or, yeah, we could work both in. Because, like, look how defensive mm -hmm. the Nosferatu and protective they are of her. So, I mean, that's an obvious one right there. Which we can one be would talking you like, like this out loud, on? so people can hear us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are you discussing this? Like <laughs> that that little stage whisper, you know. I bet the Nosferatu are behind this. What about oh. group text? <laughs> How with the one or two person who can't? Yeah, I mean, your phone has it. She's with you. Okay, you can text my assistant. That'll get it to me. Yeah, and Ella. Yeah, yeah, my people spread rumors with your people. Add a few emojis, you know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which one? Which emoji? rumor would you like me to start? The one about the gangrels starting the rumor, or the one about the Nosferatu being? I'd say we say the gangrel up. one for when people, if they start thinking that the, it's just a rumor, uh -huh. and then we throw the gangrel under the bus <laughs> to cover our tracks. Okay. I'll have Ella start okay. tweeting about or texting about the, the Nosferatu also. Yeah. Okay, I will do the Nosferatu one. So, manipulation and subterfuge again? Right? I would go poli uh, manipulation and politics this time. Manipulation and politics, okay. Um, because now you're getting into a oh. very, very clan, pol very mm -hmm. clan political... I just remembered I have been forgetting to add dice <laughs> because my character has the stunning merit. So this is all social, right? Yes. So that would get uh, add two more dice, correct? Yes, you would add two more okay. dice. <laughs> and then plus any um, specializations. It took me a it took me a moment. <laughs> okay, so manipulation and politics. Five. You have undead politics, oh, correct? Yeah. So that's six. And then add presence. That's another three. It's nine. And then add two for stunning. So Wait, 11. <laughs> what we have here wow. is a character assassin. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, I got five successes. Hmm. Are any of them critical successes? 
yes, it's already factored in. Okay. So there were three success, four successes, and one critical. Okay. It's like. Oh, you're hunger die, or any of them failures, or bestial mm. failures at all. No. Okay. Sorry, I can't pull it's up. It's a failure, the but not a. It's a failure, but not a bestial failure. Okay. So as you guys, you're spreading this rumor. People are actually buying it. People are like, oh, she must be telling the truth. <coughs> Is she? How does she know all this? Oh my gosh, she must be telling the truth. No, it's more like a subtle, like, hey, the Nosferatu don't seem to be as concerned. Maybe they're in on it. That's why they're picking up on it. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, it must be true. No. The Nosferatu must be in it. We must not talk to them. It's almost like high school. <laughs> oh yeah. It is wow. high school. It's an undead high school. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys are basically starting nobody ever clicks graduates. within clicks. Within clicks. <laughs> Nobody ever graduates. Oh, just like awkward. Um, <laughs> Graduation is torpor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of playing the uh, the opposite angle with the venture I'm with. Just sort of, you know, keeping an eye uh, on the crowd. Just, you know, looking like I don't believe the rumor personally. No. Mm. <laughs> You don't, uh, you don't follow this scuttlebutt, do you? Hmm. Sort of backhandedly it. spreading it, giving it some credence that it might be just a rumor, just a... Yeah. Amongst the Ventru, you notice they seem uncomfortable with this rumor going around. Most of them. They are sort of buying it, but at the same time they're like, doesn't seem right because they've done business with her. You just remember, mm. she's very well known. But they seem hesitant to believe it. Most of them. The there's one that's like called it <laughs> and walked <laughs> with it. <laughs> you know that one guy who always like called it told you so, and then walks told you away. So. <laughs> yep. You literally hear him yell called it and literally walk straight into the baron. Mm. Like F the shit I'm out type. There's always that one kid in high school. <laughs> hmm. I, all this is going on. She's just there like, what happened? <laughs> she's just there staring at everyone like, why me? The Baron is looking at her confused. The, the Prince is looking at her even more confused. Everyone is just like a massive, like literally yelling at her at this point. Does anyone know how to compu do computers and maybe like a uh, like Photoshop or deep fake something? That, that's why I have Ella. <laughs> She's got the most up to date uh, tech phone, and she does like everything that way. We need something done. She handles all my tech work. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely don't know technology that much. I intimidate yeah. and I punch people. <laughs> when? Where is your character? He's still with. Uh, they're still with the Nos, and right now I'm going to play the long con. I'm I certainly wouldn't be... associate with the Nos. <laughs> hmm? What? I said I certainly wouldn't associate with the Nos right now. I am actually going to <laughs> associate with the Nos and shake my head and play the long con. I'd like to earn their trust a little bit. And mm. then see if they can Good angle. point the finger themselves. Dead into them. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're still next to Melanda, correct? Mm hmm. You see, Melanda is, looks so hurt about how they're treating her. She, is, she just says under her voice, That's my favorite student. Like, I know she's not Sabat. I literally been training her since her embrace and when her sire literally got killed by the Sabat. I know for sure it's not her. Are you a hundred percent sure or is your pride as being she shares my years? Hmm? She shares my haven. I know we literally 
lived together. Like, I basically raised her as if she were my own daughter. I know for sure. Hmm. When was the last time you two were together? Right before Elysium. I hmm. drove her here. Do you think it could be someone else? Obviously, if I'm saying it's not her. Well then, if you think it's someone else, you probably need to find that information gatherer. I started this rumor, it's gonna be in a world of intro. <laughs> you would tell she's stuttering from how angry she is. <laughs> but you can see her fangs came out as she's walking away. <sighs> not here, not here. It's just a rumor, can't hurt you. <laughs> but if you ask me, and well, many people do, I personally think because, well, the Gangrel moved out of the Camarilla so recently, maybe they want to keep moving. Just a thought. Why would the Gangrel turn after they've literally destroyed almost every Sabat pack in the States? And I mean, there, nationwide. There are some Bruja with the Sabat. I mean, of course, there's always going to be some of each clan in the Sabbat, but I wouldn't assume a Gangrel. They're the clan that's least likely to join. I mean, maybe. It's a possibility that the ones that they were destroying were just a cover to convince you otherwise. Who knows? I'm only speculating. I'll definitely have to talk to Harsha. Very wise. I'm going to uh, sort of direct myself towards the uh, the prince at this point. Mm -hmm. You see Sage, she's tapping her foot angrily, arms crossed. She looks like if she could throw a gear at every person from her dress, and, like literally pull off a gear and throw it at every person to shut up, she would. I'm still, I am going to approach in a gentle manner. Not to, uh, not to crack on, but, um, uh, what proof do we have other than, uh, a room of people with a bad dose of the fears? What do we know? What we know so far is that there are Sabat somewhere in the city, and we, um, we have ruled out for sure it's no one in my court, she says, her voice raised. Brian, our bon our Asimite Primogen, has made sure of it. Trust me, everyone's been through very growing questioning. Their minds went through down to the detail on both courts. I've no doubt that the court is uh, uh, clear of this, but um, what signs have we seen of uh, the Sabbat here? There's been rumors that the Archbishop is back, and different... You are aware that we have more than one Elysium, correct? Okay. One was attacked. Anarchs aren't even dumb enough to attack an Elysium. No disrespect, I know you are an Anarch. None taken. Sometimes uh, some of them are uh, out of hand. Very much so. She takes a deep breath. She forces herself to take a deep breath. You can tell she's trying to maintain her composure. This is getting out of hand. Where's my keeper of Elysium? She, you hear her very frustrated. You don't, no one has seen the keeper of Elysium. He's a Malkavian. His name is Edward. You guys actually have all dealt with Edward at some point. And you guys notice he's nowhere to be seen. And neither is her harpy. Violet. 
They are both Malkavians. They are brother and sister. And they're both nowhere to be found. Hmm. What was the uh, what was the impression we got from them? Oh, well, they're very sweet. Um, they're they're overly optimistic. Um, they're almost to optimistic to the point where it is creepy. <laughs> um, have you ever seen someone who smiles so much that you're scared around them? Almost like every time I look in the mirror. That is a mood, though, but, um... I was gonna say now. <laughs> <laughs> One second. I'm so sorry. Apparently <laughs> you threw me off there. So sorry. It's okay. Um... Oh, they're just very optimistic people. Um, they don't seem to be dangerous or anything like that they just are like well even though she's a harpy she doesn't seem dangerous she's just more of i'm here i'm just chill like she's very laid back compared to her brother edward is more like i want to run around and do something let me do things he's very hyper very attentive but laid back if, if that makes sense in attitude. Like, he won't be on your throat, but he wants to get things done. He's that kid who's always fidgeting with things. Um, Mary's gonna attempt to get the uh, attention of the prince once more. I'm sorry, uh, your, your highness, your grace. Um, when you say attacked, um, was it just an attempt? What happened to the other Elysium? You've all recently heard of a fire that happened not too far from here. My... She took a deep breath. My haven, as well as the other Elysium, was burnt down. They attempted to burn down the barrens, <coughs> but... They didn't get to, thank goodness. You guys were in on that, by the way. You guys know every detail of this happening. But... You can't prove nothing. Exactly. You got, your hands were not dirty, but you guys knew of everything. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me Give a, a sympathetic nod. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> also, the how... Um, how Shabir San Chantry was attacked as well. You, uh, you, you build a hive of secrets and somebody is going to want to get a crack at them. Unfortunately so. I'm going to go see what I can find out and try to get everyone away from Nyssa. As much as I don't like Anarchs, she's one of the few I can tolerate. Despite being Katif. Excuse me. Of course. And you see her... You actually see her walk away. And you see like three people circle her. And she just like push, physically pushes them away from her and walks. They seem, the three people who were trying to surround her seemed terrified at that. You guys recognize them as Ford, Milo, and Rookie, her Malca another Malkavian Primogen, a Toreador Primogen, and the Nosferatu Primogen. Though he doesn't look the stereotype as a stereotypical. Stereotypical Nosferatu would. He looks like a, he honestly looks like a fresh faced 20 something year old. You see them step back and they just are looking amongst each other, slightly freaking out. 
We're gonna move to our. Okay, who has not gone yet? Rumor has been spread. Rumor has been furthered. Prince has been spoken to. Um, Henry and Vinny, who has yet to go? Um, Out of you two. I need to find. Was it Parthian? Parthian? You muted. I need to find Parthian, whoever, uh, uh, the the sleeper. I can't remember what you said his name was. I have bad memory, sorry. Parsha. Parsha. Yeah, I need to find him. Um, And I'm going to be like, what what is this going on? Did you know about this at all? He's surrounded right now by Gangrel, by Nosferatu, by Toreador, by, like, everyone who can get around him is trying to get his attention. <laughs> and he's trying to push them back. Like, he, you can tell, despite working with you, where he is able to keep his cool in the club, like, he looks panicked. He is about to lose his cool. Right, You've never seen this man lose his chill. <laughs> I'm looking up something. I'm going to step up next to him, and I want to daunt everyone there, and then pull him away. I, okay. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I, how does daunt work? Uh, wow. Daunt is at the user's presence or anything to any intimidation role, so I'm intimidating everyone there. Okay. So I want you to do uh, a charisma, and, um, oh my gosh, what, uh, what would that be? Uh, intimidation. Yes, intimidation. I'm sorry. Right, I forgot that was a stat. Right, so I'm on V20 mode while well, that's not a thing. Yeah. I'm so sorry. And then I get to add the two present dice. So that's going to be five dice. No, seven dice. It's a shame how you're not, you know, specialized in stare downs like I am. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, just to let you know, all the Toreador are regrouping around you, like, oh my gosh, have you heard? Have you heard? And, like, different rumors, like, they've grown, like, wildfire, everything about anything from flash crafting all the way to setting fires, like, it has blown up in a matter of seconds. Okay, so everything over a six is, is a success, right? Yes, yeah, six and over. Okay, so I've got four successes. One failure on a non-hunger die. Okay, as long as it's not a one. No, it's a one. On a non- I've got a one, but I've got a crit also with my success. Oh, no, I'm saying on as long as it's not a one on a hunger die, you're fine. Okay, so four successes. Okay. Um, <laughs> you effectively scare almost all- Like, basically, if you're not a gangrel, you were, you were scared back. The, the gang girl just there, like, arms crossed, like, I'll fight. Like, gang girl and Bruja, you already know how that goes. They're ready for a fight, if they need to. But they just stand there, like, looking like, okay. Must be important. <laughs> and then I'm gonna drag him away to somewhere quiet and, you know, what, did you know about this? About her? What's going on? Take a breath. Off. Relax. Thanks for the save back there. I've never been rushed by so many kindred in my life. Yes, we can be an annoying lot. <laughs> if I have to deal with another annoying rose, I'm gonna throw them into our garden. You can tell he's, like, fuming. No, I didn't know about her, but I doubt it's her. I highly, highly doubt it's her. No, the Nosferatu do have their backs up about it in really a more defensive manner than you would expect. They defend their own. Though she might not be Nosferatu by embrace. True, but the, the so way they're coming they've across, adopted her. The way they're coming across seems more than just a family clan protectiveness to me. 
I may be saying things wrong. If you don't mind me asking, you're a clan. I'm a bruja, of course. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell if... And with all due respect, I'm trying to remember the, the names and clans of over 5,000 kindred. I hope you mean no disrespect. I hope you don't take me as disrespectful. I think, think nothing of it. I think nothing of it. I understand. A lot to think about. As, Here, have a drink. It's fresh. Ella's is very good. You, you would know Ella because she's with me at the club all the time. So yeah. No, me as Jay. I'm thinking. I'm sorry. Um. Thank you, but I was just said and. With all due respect, I don't feel comfortable. I, though she's your goal, I see her as almost, as sort of a interesting family from the club. You know how I am with that. Yes, yes. He's trying to slow down his words, and you can tell he's finally like regaining his composure. Think of this logically. The, game, the Nosferatu are known for their loyalty to one another above faction, above clan, above anything else. They will defend even if they aren't, unless they are in the wrong. They have turned over many Nosferatu who are getting girl to us. Uh, Nosferatu, who are you wrong and great? Nosferatu, who are Sabat, I'm sorry. I'm reading notes as I'm speaking to you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, doing great. Nosferatu, who are Sabat to us. I doubt they'll be hiding one amongst them. And Nissa, of all people. Yes, but but again, who better to betray one's clan than one trained by? I've heard that she's been trained by their, by their almost their uh, it was not the primogen but the clan head herself. Melanda. Yes. Yes, she's adopted her. They even share a haven. Yeah, but what do we know? Besides what goes on, who knows what deeper connections there are? Maybe this whole clan is beset by the Sabbat now. I guess I'll have to talk to Ellie and a few others. You recognize that name as another Nasratu who's on the court. I'll talk to Ellie and Ruki, see what I can find out from them. They just all seem strange to me. I mean, they, they just seem more defensive than normal. Than one would expect. So, I mean, even more so than the gangrel. And you know how they are. Yeah, so I'm aware. If I can find Brian, maybe I can get them to speak. You know how Asimites are. They can get answers very easily. Yeah, I don't know. And, and the, uh... What was the prince's, uh, the, um... The Keeper of Elysium and the yeah, Harpy? Yeah, the, the Keeper. Has, have you seen the Keeper and the Harpy? Oh no, I sent them on a mission. Ah, oh, of course. It's just so the prince, not um, the prince forgot. The Prince had forgotten. Ah. Well, I hope They're tracking that. down someone. Oh, someone that we should take notice or interest of? That's what I was going to originally speak to you afterwards about. To see maybe you and your clitoris can help me. Of course you have but to ask, you know. If they, we go back, I can't, I can't but deny you. This does not leave your coterie. He explains to you that, unfortunately, um... The Banu Hakim Primogen is missing. And no one knows where he is. And that he's less seen with a group of younger kindred at an event. 
Which event? Well, the Succubus Club was in the city. And it took place at Universal. The last place I saw him was in Universal. Now, I have to go and clean up this mess, and I don't think I'll have time to check there tonight. We're about 20 minutes from there. Would you guys mind going? Of course. There's an event going on. There's an event going on tonight, so it should be easy to get in. There are Orlando my, informers there. I'll gather the rest of my compadres, and we shall see to it. Let's... Okay, let me see if I can get... Um, let me see if I can get Milo to get you guys bracelets. There'll be your... Um, he has a ton of them. We were all supposed to go tonight. Um, how many people in your coterie? One, two, three, four, five... Uh, Counting ghouls. Did every okay? Did everybody bring a ghoul or just me and? Do we really count ghouls? I mean, yes. <laughs> Seven. Okay. I, I could just um, carry on. Well, I mean, you know, bring your own lunch. Brown bag it. <laughs> okay, I have one ghoul. Okay. One ghoul. I the only one, reason is because. Seven total. Okay. The only reason I'm asking about ghouls is because he knows I'm one of you guys. Cannot even figure out how to use a telephone. So he is concerned about that. I have been. Oh, he always I have sees been her. Respectfully not. Yeah. Yeah, he always sees Ella. He knows you don't go any... Yeah, and he knows you don't go anywhere without Ella. So he, you see Milo passing by, like looking furious, and he, um, he grab Harsha grabs him by the arm, and he's like, "What?" And he's like, hey, dude, I need seven of those bracelets. We're going to send them over for us. Fine, whatever. I'll get them from the car. Just give me, like, a minute. You've never seen Milo angry. None of you have seen these people angry. Like, they're always so stone-faced and passive. These people are, like, the, the court is actually looking, actually showing emotion. And that's very, very rare. Somebody's got their humanity up. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I will go um, gather everybody up and say, hey, we're going to go do this. The, uh, the who, ba Primogen? Bahamara? Banu Ban Akim. Ban or Asimite. Oh, yeah, the, the Asimite Primogen is missing. You don't see that? Do you, do you whisper to them? Or... Yeah, I'm gonna get them all together him. and mm -hmm. make our way to some place and then, you know, hey, the okay. Esselmite Primogen is missing and, and Parish has uh, asked that we go check on him. Oh, good. Okay. He was last seen heading toward uh, Universal, so hey, we get a free trip out of it as well. We could talk about those new moving picture things. Oh, gosh. Uh, you hear him say simulators? Behind you holding the bracelets? Uh. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Adam. Please, take a breath. For Hand me You can tell he's... Oh, no, it's not Milo. It's Harsha. I am. Harsha, relax. Take a breath. You'll be fine. You can handle this. I'll see you at the club later. Uh, I, I called out. Well, then tomorrow. I recommend you doing. Yeah. I recommend you doing the same. Club's not safe tonight, man. Hello? Shit. Yeah, done. <laughs> Consider it done, sir. Ella says. You guys see. Aurora running through. You guys see somebody named Aurora running through. Carrying like a huge book bag full of papers spilling out, like grabbing papers off the floor, she's running. Saying, Hey, Harsha, I need to bother you for a second. And he's like, Not now, I don't need your alchemical stuff. Oh, thin bloods. <laughs> As you guys know that she obviously she's the thin blood he's referring to. And she's like, If I'm good enough to be on this court, 
you're gonna have to listen with me, okay? And she, he's like, fine, what's going on? I have, I found all these notes. And he's like, let me guess, more formulas? And you guys are all hearing this, by the way. Yeah. I'm like... No, they're not formulas. I believe that was at home. <clears throat> what do you want? And you guys see some of the papers fall. They're all letters written by the people who aren't there. If that makes sense. Hmm. Interesting. And just letting you guys know, that's literally the only thin blood on this court. And only because she's the representative for the thin bloods. First the Kato, now the thin bloods. We have a representative? What are things coming to? Are you saying that out loud? Yes, I am going to say it fits. that. It fits. <laughs> she, looks at, she looks at you offended. Like, come on, we help fight the Sawbot too. If we went for our blood sorcery. Not, not blood sorcery. Blood alchemy. What What else would you guys have done? Killed more. We figured out a way to heal y'all. <laughs> you don't have this immune set. Whatever. The, you can tell she's. Trying to pronounce um, the Samiji, but she can't. So, like, <laughs> the Third Eye Clan. <laughs> we don't have them around anymore. <laughs> That's right, dearie. You just keep justifying your existence. That's adorable. <laughs> Can we pat her on the head? <laughs> <laughs> like Can a little pet. That's up? a good girl. Yeah. Uh, pat. <laughs> you can tell she's looking up at you, like, pissed, and her. She's like, come on, guys, leave her alone. She saved my ass more than once. I have to say, out of game, this is a very um, progressive core. <laughs> I am, I am surprised. We, me and my co-writer actually did that on purpose. Um, this is a homebrew setting that I'm still finishing up writing. Um, we did that on purpose because it takes. A lot to drive out the SI and the Sabat together. So, mm. they figured if we're going to try to keep them out, we need to work together to keep them out. And have some sort of balance. Oh no. And you guys even know that the Giovanni is involved somehow. But you guys don't know how. You guys haven't seen them. You guys saw their rep, but that's really about it. Like, you saw everyone involved somehow in there. Trying to keep order, trying to keep everything. Hmm. As you walk, you hear yelling from outside. As you guys are- you, are you guys walking out at this point? I am, yeah. Yes. Okay. As you guys are walking out, you... Yeah. <laughs> As you guys are walking out, you hear yelling. And you recognize this voice very, very easily <laughs> as Caden Phillips. The Sheriff. And Fiona the Senshaw. They seem to be arguing. I'm going to make my way slowly toward that direction. As we're passing so I can hear what's going on. Okay, what do you mean they're arguing over Nessa? Yeah, some shit about her being a, a Sabat. Well, how come I didn't know of this? I'm the fucking Senshaw! <laughs> well, maybe you should be paying attention, shouldn't you? Well, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on with our missing Primogen. What do you mean, there's another one missing? What do you mean? And the you know, No! But if Brian's missing, that means others could. Have you seen Dylan around? No, I haven't. Does, do you think maybe because he was with Brian, he's missing too? And they're arguing about it. He's like, come to think of it, I haven't seen a lot of people. Oh, really? Yeah. 
I haven't seen I haven't seen Eid either. Dude, how does Bru and you hear the central saying, how does a Bruja go missing? Of all people. <laughs> and <laughs> he has, and he's like, I don't know, man. Wait, should we tell Sage? I mean, if I were to my letter on it, that should be okay, right? I I guess. Are we really gonna trust Melks to handle this? They can barely stay sane for five minutes. That's fair. <laughs> and you just hear them arguing. Oh, something along those lines. Mm. A little too loud for outside Elysium. So, you might want to take the conversation inside a little bit quieter. I, I mentioned they both look up at you. By. They both look up at you, and they're like, "Thanks. Please don't say anything and run inside." <laughs> so cute. You guys would both know that the sheriff and the Senchal are both venture. By the way. One of them, Fiona wears a very proud, like, she has a Ventru pin, like, a pin made, showing her clan and everything, like, she is very proud of being a Ventru. Cain is just recites. like, huh? I bet she recites her genealogy, too. Oh, she can go back 13 generations. Wanna join my clan? Ask me how. <laughs> 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 oh no, she's 13th generation, but she can go. She knows her gen her genealogy all the way back to Cain himself. Mm. She ha she even both says she knows the Dark Father personally. Ah. Cain sure, is just more like. Sure. She even shows you a selfie. The two of them. <laughs> who she claims the Dark Father is. Wait, he shows up on camera? Who she claims Kane is. Is this the I, you can tell, you I heard recognize. he was driving a taxi cab in New York. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reference. <laughs> you guys have heard rumors that he is out of Torpor. And in Newark, but know nothing else in that. He's in wait, Jersey. Wait, hold on, he's in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very over LA. What? Yeah, my cousin Vito knows him. <laughs> it is a perfect place to hide. No one would ever look for anyone. <laughs> Nobody ever looks. At, yeah. <laughs> what exit? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's just rumors. <laughs> but if you're ever in Newark. Ask for the prince, she says, walking in. I'll be sure to do that. So, I didn't bring my car? Who wants to uh, drive me to this uh, rodent-based theme park? No, I don't think we're going to that one. This is the other one. The dinosaur-based theme park? Yeah, the one based on all the movies. Oh, that's Aww. even better. They have wizards, too, but not the blood kind. Hmm. Yeah, come on, we can all get in my, uh... And you hear a small voice and dragons! <laughs> you Victoria. hear a small voice behind you get to say, and dragons! Who is that voice? <laughs> yeah, who is it? You guys actually see the Baron behind you guys? Sounding excited over dragons. She's like, I'm sorry, I need her to take a break from everyone inside, but I heard Universal. What are you- why are you guys going to Universal? <laughs> We're following up on uh, something that Parsha has asked me to do. Okay. If do you guys need a ride? Of course. Thank you. I can finally get away from here. <laughs> you can tell she looks so happy to be leaving. She's like, "How many of you guys need a ride?" Uh, seven of us. So. Um. I drove. We can, ask the last the car we can always take two cars. I can uh, go with him. 
Yeah, I got room. Whoever's riding with me, Yeah, Ella and I shall ride with the prince. Pardon. Okay. Prince. I mean, actually, the prince. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll ride okay. with the prince. I, I'm grateful that you guys look up to me that much. She's saying that I'm a baron. Oh, the baron. <laughs> For now. I, 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 <laughs> you said all... prince. I, I got confused. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say baron. Someone said prince. I don't know. No, I, I promise I'll ride with the Baron. I said Ashley. Yeah. I'll ride with the Baron. I'm grateful you guys look up to me that much, though. Of course. Of course. Mm-hmm. Our fearless leader. And she actually looks touched. It doesn't feel like it to me, though. <laughs> she says, walking to get her car. You guys can wait here for me if that's okay. But you guys can hear her swearing as she walks, and it, anytime she sees a rock in her, she's kicking it, and it like is hitting into things and like leaving dents. Like that's how furious she is. I'm what sorry. So she's walking off to get her car and come back. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you guys where are we know. Going? Who thought it was a great idea to invite a veteran on this excursion? Were you going to say no? Yes. Oh, <laughs> were you? Okay. Well, why didn't you? I said I got my car right over here. Yes, I yeah. agreed to follow him to his car. So they, they invited oh, yeah. themselves. What better way to keep an eye on them and possibly get rid of them? I, I you know, does, I was thinking does the a quick same thing. She doesn't have to make it back from the theme park. <laughs> If we can uh, brain her near the uh, dinosaur ride. Brain her? Yeah, just to. You know, a primogen disappears, then a baron disappears. Look, you saw the chaos that's already going on in there. We're going to have to move fast. Continuously looking over her shoulder on this one. Like, maybe, maybe, she's, maybe she's just a big Popeye fan. This is everything's normal. You guys remember Popeye, right? I never met him. Perhaps maybe we shouldn't be personally involved in something that extreme, which could damage our covers. I never said we had to do it, but if it just so happens... If we are anywhere in the vicinity, you know the scrutiny will fall on us. Well, if we had arranged something to yeah. happen, we when do we're our best not to there. protect them. Something happens that just can't be helped. I mean, there's there's nothing mm -hmm. to be done about it. I hear there are accidents with the roller coasters. All the time. Mm-hmm. No, we're probably rockets always breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> and people easily defeat the lap bar on other rides. How easy would it be for a kindred to defeat it? One of those slingshot rides, you know. <laughs> Got some good distance on that one. Unfortunately, Universal does not have any of those. <laughs> for good reason. <laughs> Very good reason. We don't want to plant more people than we have to. Game Park Worker's life. Anyway. <laughs> Um, she, you guys see her finally get to her car. It's a large SUV, tinted windows, um, it's a dark gray, almost gunmetal color, and she's bringing it around. Uh, I just want to say, Madrio made the comment in, in the, the Twitch that, I mean, the, the, the yeah, the Twitch stream that she'd rather be in Toper than Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice one. <laughs> How big is the car? Can we all fit? Oh, it's a large enough SUV that well, almost all of you guys could fit. Yeah, yeah, we'll take we'll take my car as well. There, about six of you guys could fit uncomfortably in the car, but five comfortably. Yeah. So Charlie and 
Mary can ride with Vincenzo. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other four of us can ride with the Baron. You guys all get in your respective cars. As you hear, as you see someone walk up and knock on the window of the Baron's car. You guys recognize her as Lily. She's the bounty hunting representative for the Arrakis, but she's also a secret Sabbat as well. Hmm. You guys recognize her. She's also the childer of the missing Asamite. So does that Asamite know about yes, her? You, what do you mean? That she is secretly Sabbat? No. He didn't no. think to question his own child there. <laughs> you know, you're going to be biased against your own kid. Are you going to No, those are the first ones you can't do anything wrong. <laughs> you... <sighs> Depends how much you trust them. I mean, he. this is his actual daughter who he ghouled at one point. Ooh. Like, this is his child. Like, he has raised her from the time she was a baby, and now she's over a thousand years old. So he has that level of trust and respect for her. Damn, she fell in with a bad crowd. <laughs> she's a rebel without a cause. Yeah. That was his trust misplaced. Um... You see her knocking on the Baron's window. As, she roll as the Baron rolls it down, she's like, have you found my dad yet? No, sweetie, we're going to go look. Okay, let me know, okay? You, you can tell she's faking the concerned kid look so well that you guys almost fall for it. <laughs> and then you guys remember who she is. <laughs> she, she waves to you guys. Hey, guys, thanks for looking for my dad. Of course, dear. Of course, darling. We found pieces of them over here. You guys have my number, right? Mm-hmm. Text me if you guys find anything, okay? Yeah. Of course. And she walks inside. I am working hard act like I don't know you, little girl. Go away now. <laughs> oh, I know everyone. <laughs> As she goes I inside, Ashley off. rolls up her window. And mm -hmm. she's like, man, I wonder if she's going to be okay. She's never been a day without her dad. And she's been a week without him. That's so unfortunate. Mm. The kegger she must be having. Um, she's a strong young lady. She can make it. <laughs> I'm sorry about the blood bond that they have. What? The blood bond that the two have. Oh. Yeah. In order to learn certain magics, you're unfortunately have to be blood bonded. Mm. And well, this is week one. If she's without his blood for about a month, the bond breaks. But that would put her into a very desperate circumstance. Oh. Then it's very important that we go and find him. Uh-huh. Yeah. You see her tapping her fingers on the steering wheel. Which entrance do you guys want to go through? My entrance? She says smiling. Or the normal kinds way? Oh, let's take yours, of course. <laughs> Okay, she says, pulling out of, um, of the convention center with ease. The streets of Orlando aren't the hardest to drive through at night, but they're still very busy. Pulling out of the convention center at night is easy. Getting through I-4, not so much. But she handles it with such ease that you would think that she's a professional driver. 
whoever is driving the other car, I need you to, um, unless you're not driving safely, I don't need you to roll to follow her. <laughs> um, I am driving safely. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> seatbelts, oh, and she would, she'll make sure that you guys are wearing seatbelts and everything. She's like, I'm not getting pulled over. <laughs> I'm sure the windows are tinted. I'm not wearing my seatbelt. <laughs> oh no, the windows are tinted, but she's like, I'm not taking any chances. I'm not moving this car until you put on your seatbelt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like her. I will right. reach back to Smack you. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, we're not in Elysium right now, honey. You're gonna do the right <laughs> thing, damn it. <laughs> oh, heaven forbid I get into an accident and fly out the window. Actually, yes, that's very dangerous for us. Because anything that can kill a kind won't kill us. So, imagine being... Having to explain that. Yeah. yeah. There's only so many miracles that we can miracles do right happen off. all the time. Oh, yeah, like the last four that so... we've had, where where we had Ruan and Gabriel dra <coughs> drag racing, and all four of them miraculously survived being burnt alive. How do I explain that? Besides a, a miracle. That's underwear. It's miracles, yo. Miracles. You can see the game rules. Seatbelt or non driving? <laughs> Put the seatbelt on, Mary. The seatbelt is on. I'm waiting for them to go so you hear this horn honk from, from the from the Vic Crown Victoria behind them. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing in this. SUV, I thought I was gonna ride with him. <laughs> You're so bad with vehicles, you don't know which one's which. And I'm assuming you switch vehicles now? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was my mistake. I misunderstood. I'm so sorry. So, who was riding with the Baron? And who was riding with. Okay. Okay. So, now that we have that all figured out. Yes. Um. I'm so sorry about that, but that you're made for a funny fine. moment. Yeah, um, as as you guys are driving, you see her going around um, most of the traffic, getting through. You're following her with ease. When you guys get there, she's not going through the normal entrance. She's driving to the employee parking. Okay. As you guys see, she pulls into this large parking structure. Um, she goes to the third floor, you, as you guys are follow- as you're following her, you get up easily, they don't have any, like, passes or anything in the employee parking. It saved you guys 25 bucks for the parking fees and everything for the night. Mm hmm As you guys park and everything, she, she's waiting for you. I'm gonna walk you guys up to the gate. I'm gonna get you guys in. From there, you guys are on your own. As much as I want to stay and help. Oh, kitty! I'm sorry, I got distracted. I'm so sorry. No. Mango has Can made his appearance and broke the, broke the vid. He does that. <laughs> I'm so Can... sorry. Can we have the Baron also be distracted by a kitty? Or I mean, we have a lot of them around the- We actually have a lot of them around the theme park, so yeah. She looks down- oh, Kitty! And she tries chasing it for a second. I'm sorry guys, I love cats. And you guys, she actually picks it up and she's like petting it and it's like screeching at her because you know, cats, animals don't really like kindred. Unless you're that's a gangrel. You, that's why you take points in the animal kin. She's like, I have a new ghoul now. Bites her wrist and has a, <laughs> has a cat looking. <laughs> oh no. She's like, I'm sorry guys, I love cats. Oh, <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> and she like regains her composure. As I was saying, I'll walk there has to, to be a rule against that. <laughs> huh? There has to be a rule against turning cats. Oh, no, she's not it. embracing cats. That actually works. <laughs> cat, oh, you not. have a game rule if you chase you. It's not in the book. No, oh. um, it's called having an anomalous. Hmm. What? Sort of like a Jeez. vampire familiar. You're on to TV. So isn't Basically. that what the, uh, the Nosferatu's do with the uh, the gators and the uh, rats? No. 
Oh boy. Okay. Uh, that's more of a gangrel thing, but. Hmm. But yes, some do. Um, though more gangrel prefer rats. Nosferatu prefer larger animals like dogs, and um, wolves. From my experience. Trust me, I've been passed on by many a Doberman while in Nosferatu Havens. So where's this gate? Follow me. She leads you to an elevator. Mm -hmm. Do you guys follow her in? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She presses for the ground floor, um, and she leads you guys up through the parking lot. She parked you guys pretty far away. From, they're trying to be more inconspicuous. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys see people coming out in a random costume. Um, train conductors, um, random, like, outfits like jeans with a shirt, like, Simpson shirts, um, whatever you can think of. Jurassic Park ranger uniforms, safari outfits. You see one person dressed at, they, mind you, I'm talking about our actual uniforms that we wear at work. Mm -hmm. You even see one person dressed as a who. Like the who's from Whoville. <laughs> yeah. Where's Anything? um where's the duck who doesn't wear any trousers? Other one. Are you other sure? Park. Other park, yes. That's the oh. other park, sweetheart. Oh. What a strange and that's place. Donald's. Mm. All your movie dreams come true here. You get to live in the movies. My they favorite is the E.T. ride. They even got two dogs at the other one. One's on all fours and the other one walking upright. I don't know. That's Donald and Goofy at Disney, that she says. Hey, I... That I that guess one strange. has... I guess Goofy happens to be a gangrel in disguise. <laughs> and... <laughs> I don't know. That makes so much sense. And that's how I take it. That's how I take it. Either that or you're some malnourished crinos. Uh, a what? <laughs> a malnourished crinos. Bonar. Out of character, what's it? Oh, uh, thank you. Werewolf. werewolf. <laughs> yeah, it went over my head because it's, it's I know them as like the slang term for the tribes. Okay. No, this is their forms. And uh, oh, the various okay. werewolf forms. Bonar, yeah, that's there you go. <laughs> I don't really? I don't know the forms yet. I'm I'm a, I'm still learning werewolf. And she's looking at you because she doesn't really have experience with werewolves. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I have no idea what that means, but I don't take it as a good thing. Lupines are never a good thing. Mm -mm. Oh, Lupine. Got it. Mm -hmm. I need to learn about them so I can fight against them. <laughs> she said, and she's still leaning against my word. Uh, now. Don't, don't, n n it's, don't know, fight them. Yeah. Bad. Just run. <laughs> I yeah. have scars. It's bad. Mm. Throw okay. mortals at them until the problem goes away. That's yeah, yeah, that the works. Best way. Yes. Yep. And if they say something about the get offenders, just just kill yourself now. <laughs> Where will my noted. spot? Duly noted. She's like, I'm going to stop you guys here. You guys are my representatives while you're in here. Mm. You guys are going through my way to get in. She pulls out a, t a key card. You guys mm -hmm. aren't going through security. I know none of you are because you guys came from Elysium. At least she's assuming so. Mm -hmm. I know none of you are armed. I know none of you are stupid enough to do anything to the kind in here. So what I'm going to do <sighs> is I'm going to take you in my way. You guys know I hang around here a lot. I stocked one of these keys from an exec. I made this into my own personal haven, if you will. They don't know it yet. But it's my haven. You guys are in my home. Treated as such. Got it? Duly loaded. And she swipes one of the doors off to the side. You guys hear a loud click mm -hmm. and it pop open. Follow me. And now, mind you, this is saying the um, Human Resources Office. This office has been locked since 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And her car just opened it as if... 
she owned the place. Hmm. As you guys follow her through, there's a side door that she goes out into the team member practice, um, into the team member area for training, and to the side of it is the whole wardrobe building. There's an entrance right in front of you into the park itself. She tells you guys to put. She makes sure you guys have on your bracelets. Mm-hmm. Everyone has on their bracelets. Yep. They're glowing a blue color today. The ones for the Orlando informal events always glow. Each each one's a different color. This one happens to be blue. Remember, you guys are representing me. I got these bracelets. I gave them Milo to hold. These mean that you guys are executive guests. Be mindful of what you do. This is a rare occurrence to have these. People will be questioning if you guys are doing something wrong and no wearing these. And they will come on my head because I'm the only one who has seven of them. Technically, I'm nine. So, yeah. You can get into both parks with these. Both parks are open. I recommend taking the Hogwarts Express just because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Have a little fun while you're here. Bye, she says, turning and walking away. Going out through security as if she owns the place. What do you guys do? <laughs> you guys can either enter through London or walk backstage. Though I'm hoping you guys enter through London personally because I can't really talk too much about backstage, otherwise I could get fired. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. we have one way to go. Let's go out in the London. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> now about the whole You could make up thing. something different. Huh? You could have made up something different, like a different way out yeah. or something. Yep. Yep. Talking about being backstage and so Oh, okay. Yeah, I could get in major trouble for talking more than I did about that. Okay. Oh. I want to make a comment on the unarmed thing. <laughs> okay. My walking cane is a sword cane. My walking stick is a sword cane. I figured as much. I assume but I don't, so. Need nobody weapons. really, like, these people, like, the group will know it because they've seen me use it. But outside of that, no one does. Just letting you guys know, there will be meta detectors in random spots <laughs> in the park. So you have to let them know, hey, this is a cane. Oh, yeah, I You're walk with it on... all the time. So, it, I mean, it can affect a limp and everything. I'm used to doing that to get it through airports. <laughs> <laughs> you have to fake a limp. Oh, you're talking about your character. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to break the DM. Um, as you guys are walking into London, you guys see London's on one side, San Francisco's on the other, of mm-hmm. where you're standing. I didn't realize and you were this close. the most disorienting scenes mm-hmm. because literally it changes from London to San Francisco in like a stretch of 10 feet. Wow. And the other park's got the whole joint song about being a small world. You see random aliens across the um, random aliens spinning across the park. You guys see a giant clown head. You got um, to your right you see classic cars and you hear music. To your left, you see um, a giant purple bus that has a man in a purple suit in front of it saying, Welcome to the night bus, wizards and witches. And just like a whole bunch of commotion. You see kids and parents running around. Um, you, next to you is literally a, a sign that says, The Hogwarts Express is now boarding. I, I think I know what that is. That guy with the hat, he, he, I think he's a, I think they call it a muggle. He's a muggle. <laughs> <laughs> it turns oh, to <laughs> Are these mages? Is that what's going on? Yes. <laughs> Out of character. <laughs> 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 
I have many. I'm rocking, Sorry, I'm I'm rocking a, a serious frown. I have many Potter, Harry Potter stories that I will geek out with you later. Did that mank just call me a witch? What? Kind of, kind of eyeballing. Sorry, are are you not from Hogwarts? You can tell he's really in character. I, I, I whispered that over to the to the group. Oh. Not <laughs> no, he's. Uh, you know, what I'm saying you hear him talking to a little kid. Like, play, interacting with the little kid. And you see his shrunken head talking as if it, it's his best friend. And you guys are, are slowly telling that he's an actor. I- oh. Okay. That he's, like a, to... that he's a kind acting as if he's a mage. Uh, I would also like to point out, out of character, that we are all dressed, I'm assuming, in formal attire because we were at this event just for now, so we're really dressed. Okay, some of well, us. You guys, <laughs> some you guys of are us. executive guests, so we make yeah. sense. Yeah. Remember, your bracelets are blue, which means mm -hmm. you guys are executive guests. So that would make sense why you guys are all dressed up. And In I, of course, have to be the oddball. Fashion. <laughs> why, what are you oh wearing? no, trust me, we've had we've had people come in with trip pants and chains no, trying to get through security. That was fun. Myself included in that, but um, I didn't I'm wearing know a white detective. beater with a thick gold rope chain and a leather jacket. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as dressed yes. up as I get. I went in. I have gone in Jack Skellington pajamas and a tank top. Like there, you see everything. Yeah, it's a key. It's a giant mountain of fur. <laughs> it's a pastel. No. I see a cat tail. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Sorry, I love anyway. out of characters. I love animals. Um, mm -hmm. I know, me too. As you guys are walking, which way do you guys want to go first? They're really tasty. Um, Chenzo's interested in the classic cars. Can I help you? That's like right up his line, just the beauty <laughs> in the lines. He's just almost, but not quite drooling over them. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk over to them, you see there's a sign that says, um, Fast and Furious Exit. No. Lay down. So that's the Fast and Furious ride, as you're guessing. Mm -hmm. You see a ton of cars, you see, see all the Fast and Furious merchandise. You see, um, you basically see everything you can imagine. Like keychains, bottle caps, beanies, jackets. All very stereotypical, um... um do they have kid-sized jackets? Yes. You see a whole area with kid-sized jackets, you see adult sizes, you... It's a very... I'm gonna, I'm gonna get uh, one for a, uh... That would fit a young girl. Um, there are different types of hoodies, jackets, stuff like that. A hoodie. Fast and Furious hoodie. Okay. Are you walking up to the uh, cashier, yep. or? Yep. Um, there's a couple people in line ahead of you, but she handles them pretty quickly. And as she has you come up to her, she's like, "Hey, how was your day? How's your evening?" Doing great. Um, you got the thing on. Uh, let's see, she's about thirteen. Um, I need something for my niece. Uh, something with a hood. Do right behind you, sir. She says, pointing. Do you need help picking one out? Please. Okay. If, if you'd just give me so one kind. second to close the register. Yeah, just give me one second to close the register, okay? Thank you very much. It's no problem. She helps you, uh, she closes the register and comes over to help you. Um, mm -hmm. There's like four or five different styles, different colors. Like, I can't remember the way this one they had in the store. But uh, I'm looking for a hoodie with a zip, with a zipper. That's about it. Just... Oh, no, I'm saying that there's four or five different styles of those. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I pick out something that's uh, nice. And, uh... Most of them are more neutral tone colors, except for this one, like, obnoxiously pink one that they had. Unfortunately, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> if so I did get her pink, I'd never hear the end of it. <laughs> she she brings you, she brings it back up to the counter. Anything else, sir? No, that'll be it. Okay. She handles the transaction with you. Mm -hmm. She puts it in the Fast and Furious bag and everything with the little thing. And she's like, 
Oh, you're one of our executive guests. And yes. she sees your bra- Nice. Here. And she <coughs> um she pulls out her ID, swipes it, scans this little um bracelet that has a Fast and Furious family <coughs> logo on it. Mm-hmm. That looks like the one that she's wearing. Mm-hmm. And she puts it in the bag with it. A oh. little gift for her. Thank you very much, miss. No problem. I hope you guys have a great night. And thank you for visiting Universal. Thank you. My pleasure. And I walk so out you... with, the, with the bag tucked under my arm. <laughs> I bet you everyone else is... What is everyone else doing while this is happening? I... Are you guys just waiting for him outside awkwardly? Or are you guys just like... I... Around? I briefly thought that this Hogwarts place was where we were intending to go and almost got on the bus until <laughs> Celeste like stopped me and I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, and you hear the director talk, oh no, um, ma'am, ma'am, you can't mm-hmm. actually get on this bus, it's, it's oh. part of an act, it's fake, this is a prop. <coughs> I'm so sorry, I know you're in character, but you can't really get on the night bus. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Does it look like an actual bus, or is it just... Yes, it's an actual bus. <laughs> but it doesn't actually work. <laughs> she, he's explaining this to you, like, it's an actual uh-huh. bus. It's an actual two-tier purple bus. But, yeah, it's, it's a prop. Okay, Celeste hurries me away in the other direction. <laughs> I'm so sorry, have a great night, welcome back. <laughs> have a great night in London. <laughs> And uh, he's like, you know, it's remind me of a young lady and her confused mother. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like everything just goes right over your head. I have <laughs> been a torpor for like a few you know, centuries. You don't understand so. how many times we've actually had this happen, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. I'm gonna say that Mary is sticking close to them, but just kind of, kind of sulking on this image, just kind of muttering to herself. I hate the real London. Why the fuck would I care about a fake one? <laughs> you guys are really. You guys really are heading. Old. You guys are um heading towards San Francisco. So at this point, if you're waiting for him outside, you guys are in San Francisco at this point. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're old. I'm not so old. London. I haven't been here in a few centuries. Are you saying this out loud enough for people to hear, or? Yeah, but in a tone that people may think it's joking. Because of the way I'm dressed, especially. Yeah, he's got the Victorian gear People, on. This one guy who I'm happens to be in... He looks like Jack the Ripper. <laughs> no, guy. I know him. He had red hair. <laughs> Not like this one at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're not... This one guy who was walking by, um, clearly... Dressed as if he's upper management in one of the venues. Mm. Um, he is walking through and he sees you guys. And as you guys say um, about having been in a Lon- to London in a while, he, he was laughing. He's like, Oh, what part are you guys from? Bye, guys. Bye, Bye, Bye Rudy. Love Sorry. You guys. Love, Love you, you too. Sorry. Bye, buddy. Sorry, guys. See you later. They say what party um, or what part? What part of London? You could. He has a heavy accent from the area. Um, has a heavy British accent. What's that sound like? I. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do a British accent. Please do not make me. It's okay. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. From the Lower East Corner. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm from, I'm from this, I'm from the heart of the city. I hope you guys have a great time. If you guys need anything, my name is Tony. I'm gonna be walking around here. Um. He's like eyeing your bracelets as he talks, like knowing that you guys are very important guests. Thank you very much. And if we require your assistance, we shall call upon you. Okay, just let me know. And he walks off, like trying to make sure everything's cleaned up and everything. Calling me in the wall for walkie talkie about spilled popcorn and little things like that. So, uh, any of you guys remember where we were supposed to go? Uh, I believe we were looking for a certain primogen. 
And a yes, Hogwarts? the Asamite, the Asamite primogen was last seen coming here with the Keeper and the Harpy. Or, and the Harpy and the Keeper were sent here to see if they could find it. Yeah, but this is like a big place. Do we have any idea where they're going? two parks. Yeah. I have nothing yeah. more than that. Okay. Um, where exactly did the Baron say we should go? <laughs> she said go through the gates and you're on your own. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yes, I recommend the, you guys take the Hogwarts Express because it's fun. The fine leadership we come to expect. Uh, um, I'm guessing that's like a monorail type of thing that gives a tour of the park. Okay. Oh no, it's literally you're riding the train to Hogwarts. Let's all go okay. on the monorail. Yeah, yeah. Monorail, <laughs> monorail, monorail. Um, is that a that? Simpson <laughs> reference? Yes. Yes. You know they're right over there, and he just kind of points over the water. Uh huh. <laughs> you would we literally get crusties and everything. We can go there. <sighs> they might have a monorail. Monorail, monorail, monorail. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, well, she did successfully get on the Hogwarts Express, so let's uh, let's hop on the train. On the train. Ah, uh, yes, of course. So you guys are heading toward the Hogwarts Express. Mm. Uh -huh. Sounds good to me. It's literally right behind you guys, from where you're standing. And okay. Where you guys see it. You see train conductors dressed in full out uniform and everything, saying, "Welcome, welcome to King's Cross Station." Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. Right this way. And she's like pointing you guys in the correct direction okay. of where to go to get on the train. I saunter on through. She wants you guys, um, how many people in your party, may I ask? We got seven. Okay, perfect. Just make sure you let them know upstairs when you guys get up to, to the load platform. Each station only has room for eight in each car. Okay. You might have a random person. Wait, didn't nice. one of you have a ghoul with you? That is counting the ghoul. Oh, well, my ghoul as well. Yeah, Isn't that's seven. Oh, okay, yes, seven. I'm just bad at math. <laughs> so as Have we're guys... going up, yeah, um, <laughs> might get a random person. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Not supposed to have any fun. Okay, never mind. Anyone else feel weird about the way Tony was looking at us on our bracelets? I think he might know something. Uh... I think these are just like uh, VIP bracelets. <laughs> I know we got some pull with someone. Do I know what the SMI primogen looks like? Yes, you would. I guess okay. we all know. Okay, so we can use the keep keep our eyes out and looking. And maybe ask people if they've seen him. Her. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you can always ask security. Yeah. They'll call. That would be good. Hello. Do you, um, you guys don't see any security here, but you guys see other people dressed like porters. Mm -hmm. Um, and other, and other different positions. When you guys get up to the second floor, though, you notice their uniform changes. Mm -hmm. They're dressed in red instead of blue. Yeah. They're like, oh, you guys are at Platform 93 Quarters. We're going to be taking you guys to Hogsmeade shortly. Thank you. Do you guys enjoy your time in Diagon Alley? Haven't been there yet. Oh, then how else did you get to the Hogwarts Express? Uh, bat wings. That's an interesting one. Is that a new type of broom? Yes. Uh, we got seven of us. We were told to tell you we got seven of us in our party. Okay. Um, would you guys like a single rider with you or not? Preferably no. Okay, you guys can follow me. You guys are going to be in station C, right here. And she points you guys over. <coughs> Do you guys go over? Yeah. Yes. I follow as gracefully as possible. The second you guys get there, 
the train is pulling in, the guests are getting off, and you, you hear little kids, you see little kids dressed as mages with wands, saying, I want to go to Hogwarts, Daddy, I want to go back to Hogwarts, or, Mom, Mom, I got my wand from Ollivander, or little cute things like that. I smile at all the little Bambinos. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I went to speak and I forgot my mic wasn't on. Um, as you guys are ushered into the attraction, they let you guys know where the emergency pole, um, where the emergency brake is and everything. God forbid there's an emergency. Um, and he's let you guys know, please enjoy before they close the door. And they let you guys know you guys are going to be in there and closed for at least the next four minutes. Okay. I, um, whoever is not versed in technology, I need you guys to roll me a willpower check. It's not frenzy at the sight of the mentors. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, so what do I roll? All your unmarked willpower. Okay. And one of them has to be a hunger die? No, no hunger die. Okay. And you cannot re-roll this. So, I am a former massive Harry Potter fan, and I'm just giggling like a fool right now. Two successes. I work in Hogwarts. I'm... Do I add my hunger die, or...? No. Okay, I got two successes. Both you guys got two successes? I'm going to say that's enough, because average bull power is between four for your group, is four. So, that's enough for you guys. You guys are relatively calm, just distrustful of over whatever this Dementor is. Or, why is there a random centaur staring at me through this window? How is this window changing without us moving? <laughs> yeah, was... I'm, I'm gripping my cane and Ella's got her hand on my arm. Oh, who is I'm this like guy in really a motorbike gross. flying past us? Gripping the How chair very tightly. Flying? I'm Your just smiling amusedly. Yeah, just sort of, sort of hands the biggest back. questions that should be going through your head. How is this motorbike flying? Who's this man with a beard? <laughs> like, you know, like, what's going on? Why is there spiders climbing all over the door? Um, um... <laughs> Celeste is attempting to call me and, like, explain things, but I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> so, the four minutes pass, four and a half minutes pass, as it comes to a stop, the door opens on the phone, and you hear somebody say, Section C, you're free to come, and you guys are allowed out of the, uh, out of the compartment. Excellent. Who leads the way out? Uh, I'm out that door like immediately. <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, please walk your step. <laughs> I follow behind her. <laughs> also out. I will. As you guys follow out, um. You guys see a sign that says exit into Hogsmeade? Thank you. Mm -hmm. And are you guys taking the stairs or, or the elevator? Stairs. Yeah, I was going to say, given, given the experience <laughs> couple of them had stairs. in their train. Yeah, and given the experience of the small compartment there, I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm familiar with the concept of stairs. Yes. <laughs> As you guys go down the four flights of stairs mm -hmm. and into the village, you see, like, you guys think you're brought back in time. It looks like a real village in the middle of Scotland. Wow. As you walk to your left, you're in, it feels like you're in Scotland. The little shops and everything, a little, like, old school posts, like, everything. I look back where we came from and I'm, like, looking around for... Someone's gotta be doing this. There's, there's definitely a mage behind this who is involved in this and is just fucking with us and you I do see have people... a much more suspicious eye 
now that we've entered this area. Oh, you see people dressed in wizard's robes and like different types of costume. You see um, people in witches' hats, wands, brooms. Like, you s if you were suspicious, this would be the place to be suspicious. I have a TikTok going. Don't be suspicious. It's stuck in my head right now. Guys, yeah, you know what this is, right? Yes. Hmm. This is a conspiracy to, 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 for, the, for the mages. To normalize mages. Uh-huh. <laughs> gets around paradox. You know what paradox is? I don't really understand it, but I think it gets yeah. around paradox. Yeah. Ain't that like their, uh, their, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Conspiracy. <laughs> You see people with um, beige name tags dressed in um, what would be like stereotypical like peasants' clothes, like the loose fitting brown pants and tan shirts um, with a with an old school looking name tag, um, walking around helping out guests. You see people in like high like mage robes helping out with spell helping the young kids out with spells and windows. Um, you see people dressed in like almost like old school handlers clothes and fake motorbikes in front of one of the places and talking about the paramagical creatures. Hmm. Um, you see shops selling sweets and um, different types of clothes and, um, all over the place. And as you're walking up the path, you see a bookstore that's not even a real store. Like, why is there a fake store? Um, you see a huge medieval castle. When I say huge, like, it looks huge from where you're at. Hmm. And you hear a little kid cry out, like, Mommy, that's Hogwarts! I guess we're heading towards the castle. Makes I'm sense. here. If you were a primogen, I feel like the castle is probably... Again, Mary's just muttering under her breath. Feck me. They would have burned all these people a couple hundred years back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the best part. This is a wizard city. You hear this one little girl look up at you. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, they they want her here, yeah. and she was just here skipping off. No. Do, do you mean Fairly. cultists and spiritualists, not wizards? Let us not anger the mages. Let's let's just keep going. Um, <laughs> and you um you hear one person say, "Everyone, get ready for the Tri Wizard Tournament rally." <laughs> As you see this one person dressed in Hogwarts robes, <laughs> magnificent black robes, um, clearly she's a Ravenclaw. <laughs> um, calling for everyone to get ready for the spirit rally. As you see people in like different types of costumes walking up onto the stage to do the spirit rally. So we, uh, Take a look at this rally. You guys want to skip that? And... I think we should keep moving. Yes, we don't want the group of wizards upset with us. No, the the, the sooner faster the better. We get out of here, I the better. Yes, couldn't I agree more? <laughs> As you guys go through, there, um, the most of the kind around distracted by this. Your your goals are fo so focused on you; they don't even notice what's going on. They follow your orders and follow you. Um, you see a, a small courtyard mm -hmm. and you see in the courtyard you see a bunch of young mages that can pass as, as acolytes saying, welcome to Hogwarts. I hope you enjoy Professor Bin's lecture on the, on the history of magic. Oh, don't let the dragon find you. Little things like that. The dragon? Oh yes, Henrietta. She's holding a Garen Horntail. She's so nice. Good, good to know. Oh, make sure you guys say hi to Professor Dumbledore. 
Uh, sure thing. I don't like this place. Oh, it's one of the safest places on Earth. Oh. Keep moving. Are, Only second to Green Guts. These people are very nosy. They just bump into every time I'm whispering to you. <laughs> when we're out of earshot of them, I'm like, do you think they've all been gold? <sighs> all I know is when um, the deed is done, we, uh, we raise this place to the ground. I... I don't. I don't like this place. I think the prince <laughs> would take. Uh, yeah, I don't think. And, and oh, I mean, at this been, time, the deed is oh, done. Oh, of course, yes, of course. This place was burned with all these heretics. Oh, oh nice. Oof. Oh, as you guys are walking up, there's another student here, and said, so, "Oh, welcome to Hoppers. Do you have any bags you guys would like to put in your locker?" Oh. Uh, why do we need to put the bags in the locker? Oh, Professor Benz wants all bags in lockers so you guys can um so you guys can take the magic ride there without having to worry about dropping anything. Okay. The green was made. Fun. All you need is your fingerprint. Oh. No. Uh, one before you. Yeah, I'll do it. I don't want to lose my niece's hoodie. Hi. Oh, kitty. Yes, Mr. Kitty. Somebody Molly likes to join in. She likes the back of my chair and likes to run laps around my neck. Oof, that's my cord. Hey. I'm trying to do a phone here. Oh, um, yeah, so I'll put my bag in one of the lockers. Do you guys hand off your bags to him? If you guys have one? Yeah, no, no bag for me, so. Okay, you get a locker and you rejoin your friends in the dungeons. The, uh, the next student you encounter is like, Hi, welcome. Do you guys want to go through the gardens or would you like to go straight up to the, uh, straight up through the castle? Oh, straight what? up, please. <laughs> Nothing, and she points right behind her. <laughs> Did I do something? No. It's just the way no. I answered. Yeah, yeah, I'm laughing at my friend here, miss. It's not you. <laughs> we'll just go straight up to the castle. <laughs> okay, welcome. Professor Drumwilder's office is right up those stairs. Please make sure you guys don't take any flash photography. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys enjoy. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch out for the watch out for the talking pictures. They might be a bit frightening. Mm-hmm. As, as Evie drops, you mentioned the talking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, poor Evie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> uh, let's see if she makes it back. Talking oh, pictures. Really? Talking pictures oh, yeah. in the movies. No, um, the pictures, to uh, like the pictures of our founders of Hogwarts. Um, talking the, paintings. The, yeah, they they talk. The paintings talk. Yes, they talk and move. Is that not normal? Oh, I forgot you guys are. I forgot you guys are mages. You guys are visiting. Yes, we're muggles. <laughs> I, out of character, I forgot the word. I'm so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot you guys are visiting muggles. Well, welcome to Hogwarts. Yes, we have moving pictures of the next hallway. It's called the Hall of Founders. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, as she points you guys up, as you guys open the staircase, you hear Minerva. Have you heard? Hagrid's lost a dragon. Oh, he'll find it. And you hear them talking, and you hear Cerberus and um and Godric just arguing over Harry Potter and the Warlocks Convention of seventeen oh nine and all this other BS. This is all happening with the uh, the paintings talking. Mm -hmm. This is all the paintings talking as you guys are walking up the stairs. 
Mary is not handling this well. She's oh, fuck no. me. What is wrong with this place? Just eyeballing every picture. Hold on. Yeah. The paintings are talking. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Why would it, it drop out right down? as she said it? <laughs> 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 Why? This isn't fun. <laughs> you hear a little kid up, up ahead. Mommy, mommy, that's Professor Dumbledore. I start looking around for the old man. As you guys walk in, there's like a huge holographic bookcase mm -hmm. on one side, and like a pensive and like fake books and wands and like trinkets on the other. As you guys walk in through, you hear, hello, and welcome to Hogwarts. My name is Professor Albus Dumbledore, headmaster of Hogwarts, and this is him giving his feel. Mm. And, um, you see him in saying, he actually mentions Voldemort and the Dark Arts and everything, and... As you guys are walking, like, the whole spiel is about two minutes long as you guys are walking through the hallway. Mm. Um, now I'm confused. Do the ghouls just kind of follow along, or do they interact with anybody else when they're? That's up to you, Hess. I mean, you have control of your ghouls. I'm not going to. Because I'm, I, I want to lean into Celeste and go. Are, are you going to tell her this is all theater or what? <laughs> <laughs> Because she's having a real big panic attack. <laughs> I have tried. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm having a blast, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's learned to trust Celeste when she says that it's nothing to worry about, but she's still, like, on edge the whole time. <laughs> Okay. I don't care that it's fake. It's still weird. It's wrong. Yeah, creepy. Yeah, I get it. It's not right. <laughs> As you guys walk into the next room, you hear a door open at the back of the um at the back of the room, and you you don't see anyone. You hear footsteps walking up. Start looking around. I guess I definitely in a, a defensive stance at the <laughs> sound. <coughs> uh, she's talking to. She's talking to other people. I do apologize. I'm sorry. I'm not. Um. You see, I'm nowhere. Three young kids appear <coughs> and start talking about how they're going to take you guys on a Quidditch game instead of Professor Ben's lecture and hoping. Uh, um, they, yeah, you guys don't get caught. So, they want us to play hooky from the lecture and go play Quidditch. And that's a big match between um, Slytherin and Gryffindor. You guys want to go catch a ball game? Mm. They have football here? Quidditch. Plus you. <laughs> it's all night. <laughs> She'll explain it to me. <laughs> she explains it. I think it's all part of the, the thing. I think. Uh, it's I think a theme. Skip. I think we're supposed to skip the class. Oh, then, then yes, yes. Although kids never skip school, learning is important. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are walking through, you guys get to the Gryffindor common room, and you guys hear the posters of "Go Gryffindor," and then you see other pictures talking about flying broom seats and everything. As you guys walk up to three more students, and how many in your party? Seven. They're like, we need you guys to split up into a group of four and a group of three for us. Please and thank you. I stand off to the side and look at the rest of y'all to uh, 
separate yourself. <laughs> not look comfortable with dividing the party. Or dividing. Oh, you guys are only need five seconds apart. I promise. Uh, Ella and I will stand next to Vincenzo. Yep, Six, four, go. first, then three. Four, then three. Oh, okay. Oh, you four can go first. We'll wait. Oh, no. Oh. You guys can go all together. Just let them know that you're four and then three. Ah, okay. Uh, which group am I with? You are with your ghoul, uh, Marie and uh, Charlie. Okay. Extra eyes to keep an eye on me. I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's not gonna like this. <laughs> as, as you guys walk forward, you hear the sword and yeah, speak. It's cautionary tale. Mm. As you guys walk up to the next students, and you guys walk up to a moving walkway. Oh, this should be fun. It's basically a treadmill floor going up mm -hmm. five miles an hour. As they have the first floor go on, you guys have to keep catch your seats. And pull down the harnesses. <laughs> you guys see the floating candles above you in the simulate room. Uh, and the sound of like the Hogwarts control theme going on. And you see I look students. around for a non non moving stairway. Is there another option here or is this I mean there's another uh, there's another way to get onto the ride, but you have to you have to request it. And of course, no one has explained this to me, so. I mean, it's not available unless you request it. Like, people really don't know about it. Okay, so I will get on the ride reluctantly. <laughs> as, they help you, as they help you, you guys with your harnesses and everything, you guys all get on without an issue. You guys hear Hermione say, hey, over here. And you guys don't see her until you guys are about to go through what is called the flu network. Out of nowhere, she throws the powder, and you guys are going through this green tunnel of light and wind up in an observatory. You guys get, as the ride progresses, you guys get chased by a dragon, smoke in your faces. You guys get thrown into the forbidden forest, whomped by the whomping willow. You guys finally get to the quick match where you guys are attacked by the mentors. And I'm just gonna roll willpower now. <laughs> <laughs> just close your eyes. We'll tell you when it's over. <laughs> bar is gonna go flying. <laughs> okay, three successes. Three successes. I'll be okay. I close my eyes. I breathe deeply. It's not happening. It's not real. <laughs> yeah. And as you guys are, as you guys are flying through. You guys hear Dumbledore say, thank you for your bravery. Welcome back to Hogwarts anytime. As you guys land, and you guys hear your harnesses click, and you guys get off. Also on move, another moving run. walkway. Barry <laughs> yeah. is making very rude gestures at the, uh, the Dumbledore. <laughs> Do they have, like, like, is there, like, a seat and, like, hand grips? It's a seat, and then the harness is pulling on our way, and we hold the harness. Okay, um... Because I will have used uncanny grip and squeezed mine. <laughs> You're gonna break the harness. <laughs> Just in a situation. Like, like I understand dense. what's going oh, on, and Ellis told me about it because she enjoys watching these things. But just it's going and it's going and it's going and it's going, and I can't do anything to react. So I've just been crumpling whatever the harness is with my uncanny grip. <laughs> As you guys get off, they look at your harness and they disable the ride vehicle immediately. <laughs> and as you guys walk in, like, how the hell did this work? I resist the urge to use my celerity to get out of here as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, brisk, brisk walking. Brisk walking. Oh, wait, so it, yeah, willpower check? Hold on. Let's go, Vlad. Yeah. We are leaving. <laughs> Two successes, <laughs> so I won't use mine to get away either. <laughs> you guys get out of there, and you guys will see why some my like Malkavians might like this ride. Yeah. 
Uh, is this the point where I would try to retrieve my package? Um, you guys walk into the gift shop and you notice there's an entrance to the lockers where you guys came in. To your right. Okay. You can go in there can and you find your locker find... very easily. Can we just find this primogen already? Get out of here and never, never come back or speak of this again? There's a gift shop? Yeah, you're in the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's all what? Wizarding World memorabilia. <sighs> Operate. Just uniforms and stuff like that. Any of those jelly beans? No, not in here. You pass the candy shop on the way. the sweet shop in town. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, then I'm just going to get my uh, my bag from the locker. You do. It's relatively easy. It mm -hmm. takes like two seconds. The hell would you want a memento of this? As you retrieve your bag, you look over it. Mm hmm? As you're getting your bag, you look over and you could have sworn you just saw the primogen. For a split second, and then they're gone. Hey guys. I just saw the they only let... Room. Sorry, they only let one person in the lockers at a time. Oh! That's... Remember, the rest of the group had to wait for you. Right, right, right. Um... I go... I tried to look for them. Where were they? They were waiting for you in the gift shop. Oh, they were in the gift shop. No, right, I mean the permagen. The permagen. Oh no, they were in the lockers for a split oh. second. At least you thought you saw them. I start okay, looking I am. The lockers. I start looking for them. You distinctly hear the harpy's voice outside saying, "Found him! Found him! Found him!" And like almost like a childish sing songy voice. Are you kidding me? Those guys are playing hide and go seek? What the hell? It's outside the locker room I hear the voices now? It's in the gift shop. In the gift shop. I go out there. Everyone the in the gift shop yells it. You guys yeah, all hear it. Around. As they're running outside, like, it looks like a it looks like they're on like you know how like people play around sometimes when they're bored and they, they hide and seek randomly in places? Yeah. It yeah. looks like that. Yeah, I used, to do, I used to do that in the department store when I was younger. <laughs> Got kicked out a few times. Okay. You see these two grown people running around, and you could tell the the wizards at the cat register just like, I'm done. And they're like, for the 15th time, please, ma'am, stop. Um, I'm going to try and catch them. Um, that would be... Are you trying to verbally stop them or physically stop them? Physically. <laughs> that would be strength. And are you you're not trying to hurt them. You're just trying to no. catch them? Yes, I and have strength and athletics. Athletics? Okay. Because my brawl is actually no. specialized in grappling. <laughs> oh um, don't forget your happen? hunger die. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what were you specialized in again? Uh my brawling is trained is specialized in grappling. So I figure that's I mean be... brawling is more so yeah, yeah I'm not it. trying. Okay. Um, so how do I generate that um, with the specialty? That would be um, strength mm -hmm. plus your brawl and then plus mm. one for specialty. Okay. And so I put in nine and then one separate because of the hunger die? Or my, my total plus one to show that one's separate? No, don't put a plus. Just no. put nine space one. Okay. Oh, fudge. <laughs> what did you get? I got a one on the hunger die. Oh. But it's not a complete fail for the roll, right? No, I got five successes otherwise. Okay, if it was a complete fail, then you would have to worry about that. Okay, okay. Good thing it wasn't a critical success yeah. on the hunger mm. die. Mm. Do you have any critical successes? Uh, just one. Okay. So, as you guys... As you go to catch them, you grab them and tell like a bear hug and say, There you are! Like, she's like, There you are! Thinking you're her brother. Guys, what are you guys doing? Oh, it's you! I have no idea who you are, but hi! Mm. I recognize you from school, but you know she's using school to cover her in Elysium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. 
Permagens are um, officials, I believe, of some sort. Yes. Of the Camarilla? Yes, the Camarilla officials. Uh, are you They're officials. Are you chasing the headmaster? How did you know? Uh huh. Everybody's did looking you for you. Really? Yeah. Causing a lot of trouble. I didn't mean to. We just got. We just got even got caught up playing a giant hide and seek game. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You missed um. Uh. Uh. What do you call them? One of those uh, assemblies. I guess you know these over the Elysium High School. I missed Something so many. Is going down. You guys missed a big one. Is the headmaster playing with you, or is he not in on the game? Can you please repeat that? I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, is the headmaster in on the game, or or is he not headmaster. playing? No, no, no. He's not playing. We we got distracted. My brother and I got distracted. Oh, you were chasing your brother. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah, he kept disappearing. He can obfuscate. Uh. She whispers. <laughs> Can I use my heightened senses um, ability to mm -hmm. try yes, to locate him? Um, do you have sense okay. unseen? That would be easier. No, I have premonition though. If you touch her, if you touch like her hand or her shoulder, you could get a premonition, possibly. Okay, I'll try that. I'll try to force a premonition of you reflex, resolve, and aspects, I believe. That is one success. Oof. You don't get the premonition you're expecting, but you do get one. Oh. Around you is relative darkness, but it's an odd calming darkness. You're not afraid. And you see all your friends around you, like your coterie, your ghouls, and you see the Archbishop there, but it feels wrong. And then you're back to where you are. Huh. Somehow she's connected to him, but you don't know how. Yo, uh, Ali Ali. This particular <laughs> her? She is? Yeah. The. Okay. You don't know how. You don't know why. The brothers she's are somehow connected to the really Sombra. Really sneaky. Oh, I see him. She says, pleading, so grappled <laughs> right you. He's right, he's right there, look! And you see her pointing, and he's indeed right there. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the lady at the counter like, Finally your dad gets them. Not my kids. I'm a mean uncle. Let's get out of here, come on. Thank you, oh you hear the mouthing, like whispering, thank you, thank you, thank mm -hmm. you. Yo, guys, I saw the... When I was in the locker room, I saw the primogen, like, running around here. That's, not, that's why we've been playing hide and seek here. We thought we saw him, too. We've been trying to play it off. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I will go into the locker room and investigate. Okay. Um, are you faking a locker number? Or... Because they ask... Um, they, they say lockers only. Uh, yeah, I will pretend I have have one. Okay. Actually, I'm going to um, attempt to make... Is Who is the person uh, outside checking that? Oh, it's, it's a kind, just asking me to sleep. Only, only until you have a locker. No, I mean, like, describe them. Can you? Oh, it's a, it's a tall girl, red hair, up in ponytail with a giant bow, and... She's actually really sweet. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm going to entrance her. She's, um, she's actually a Gryffindor, by the way. I'm going to entrance her. Just like put the full supernatural whammy on her. Just like okay, she's an un. <laughs> she's she's a kind. She doesn't know what hits her. She's waiting okay, for command. So, uh, I think I left something. My friend left something in the room. I need to go get it. So, uh, I'd be really <laughs> appreciative if you would uh, course, let me course. back in. Right this way, of course. Anything for you? As it should and I'll be. head right in. Yep. <laughs> I'm also gonna follow after that uh, display. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. You can't enter unless you have a locker. <laughs> Is this the uh, same one that she? En yes. Uh, enchanted. Say. Entrance. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and use a. Uh, Entrance. Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and use dominate. Uh, same principle. Do you know that will uh, break the, That will break her entrancement. I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay, I'm just making it away. <laughs> All right. um, Dominic, one command, so I'm just gonna go, just kind of, you know, grip her shoulders, go stop. Just, you know that dead eye look into her. She stops frozen in fear. Uh, Is, you know that. Oh no, she's immortal. You don't. Have to roll against her. Um, you know that you're not supposed to be touching the actors. So when you're grabbing her shoulder, she's genuinely fearful. I, man, if you would tell me you had to go back in, I'm just doing my job. You don't need to be mad at me. Go ahead. Go. Keep walking past her into the yeah. locker room. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> She's lucky she has a head to begin with. Let's <sighs> why we're here and let us leave this place. It's really starting to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Whoever's still in the whoever's in the locker room right now, roll me a um one second. Uh-huh. Can you please want me a resolve and investigation roll? Okay. You can do it. Uh, you got this. For intelligence and um, occult. Which other one is higher? Okay. Um, can I add my aspects to this or no? Uh, my yes. High senses? Okay. Awesome. Uh, two successes. Oh. Uh, four successes. Two was two was what was needed. So both of you guys are as you're looking around, notice like little things that seen out of the ordinary. Nothing major. Humans wouldn't notice these. Like little runes drawn clearly Tremere style runes that just look like graffiti to anyone else. Um, little, little things like that marking. This is like a safe zone. Almost. You also notice like little clan markings around each of the main 13 clans in different spots around the room. Oh. That's uh, rather strange. You notice the missing primogen's clan is the slightly bigger mark, and so is the rose. So is the what? Toradar and Banu Hakim symbols are the bigger ones. Oh, okay. Huh. 
Everyone outside the locker room. What are you mm-hmm. doing? Um, is there only the one girl working the store? There's, there's four or five. There's four or five. Okay. There's the one, um, the one girl in front of the locker room. She's actually mm-hmm. a ride attendant. Um, the lockers are part of the ride, not the store. Right. And then there's four other people working in the store. Okay. There's one person at the photo counter, two people at the cash shop counter, and one person just like walking around helping young muggles and witches and wizards. Uh, looking at Claude and Charlie. What do you think we should do? Do you still have the girl gripped? Oh, um, no, if her and her brother stopped playing around, I, uh, yeah, I let her go. <laughs> okay. I was just meaning to stop her, like, hey, <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> I think, um, I think this is a perfect spot to take a break, if you guys are okay with that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 We shall return, sh- we shall return shortly. Join us then. Be right back.
back and bow for more pain. Yeah, more magic. <laughs> so welcome back. Where, what's our coterie outside of the locker room doing? Uh, yeah, so I look at Charlie and uh, Claude. Claude and Chuck. Um, those ladies have been in that locker room for a little bit. Mm, you think something's wrong? I'm thinking, I think I saw the primogen in there. They went in. They haven't come back out yet. <sighs> you want to force the issue and get through? I can make it happen. You hear one of them all came and say, oh, we drew marks all over the place so the permission knows that we were here looking for him. Aha. <laughs> okay. Fucking Malkavians. <laughs> the worst. Uh-huh. Hey, we thought it was a good idea. You try doing with what we have to go through every day, and then tell us that we're not that we're FA Malkavians after you go through ours. Well, we put up with you every day, and uh, that has struggled quite enough. She gives you like a little kid pouty look, and wait, you're not. I thought you were in the locker room. <laughs> I'm a character. Right, you are. <laughs> Why'd you respond to me? <laughs> yeah, because I, because I forgot for a second. In my defense. Don't bait the storyteller. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got just like, I thought there was enough money. Here's my speaking because I want to incorporate everyone. So mm -hmm. So as you guys are speaking outside about mm -hmm. the marks, you two are actually looking at the marks. What are you two doing? No. I am um, <laughs> currently hoping we didn't walk into a trap as I just kind of scan the walls and, you know, pull a hand to the locker and slide across the room. Just keep an eye. And there's two um, There's two Slytherin students in there just, like, helping people with their lockers. And one of them is like, is there any other way we can assist you? It's a taller gentleman, um, night, you know, normal Hogwarts uniform. He's in Slytherin robes. Fake wand is in his hand. He has on glasses. I'm going to say from this point, she just kind of shoots a glance and ignores him and continues to uh, uh, creep along away from the, the runes on the, uh, on the walls and lockers. As you walk away, you notice you're back at the entrance where you came in. Uh, before before she exits, she does a quick, you know, <laughs> sign to the rest of anyone else who is in there, and uh, hopes for a speedy escape of this uh, locker room. They point you back in the other direction of the gift shop and tell you, "Ma'am, the exit's that way. Otherwise, you'll be back in the entrance for the ride." I don't think you you don't seem like you like the ride the first time so let's have you go this way she uh tries to compose herself <laughs> listen you to me tell, yeah, you can tell the girl is actually being really sweet to you who uh, said I that I don't think she would care at this exact moment <laughs> listen to me you little Wizard child. I'm a witch, ma'am. You're about to <laughs> get me out of this room now. Right that way. <laughs> and she escorts you to the door. She just kind of not not elbow checks her, but uh, comes very close and clipping her. Have a great day, ma'am. Thank you for visiting Hogwarts. I can't wait to burn this place to the 
background. She like the, you could tell the girl take a deep breath, as you can tell. Like we, they actually go through situations like that all the time. <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. And she just like she breathes and walks back to the lockers and one goes and helps the next person. I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. I love my it's job. more. It's more like. I love my paycheck, I love my paycheck. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh... I like Hogwarts, I like my uniform, it's really cool, I get a cosplay. I like my paycheck, guests are okay sometimes. I like helping people, let me get through this day. <laughs> As a Hogwarts student, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm saying this. <laughs> so as you come out, as um. Are you exiting with her? Evie dropped out. Yeah, Evie oh, dropped out. Okay. I didn't see. I'm sorry. I don't have the... That's okay. don't worry. I'm just going to say, yeah, she exits. Yeah. Just to... yeah. I would assume so. Yep. That makes sense. Out of the corner of your eye, you guys swore you guys saw the Prime Virgin running out of the gift shop toward um, towards the courtyard. The rest of us? Everyone, mm -hmm. when you guys yeah. reunite. Uh, chase after them. Yeah, chase. The Momontavians are already ahead of you and, like, disappear mm -hmm. into the crowd. Oh. You already know you're most likely going to not see them, and you're going to get distracted by more hide-and-seek. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You already know. It's time to move quickly, then. Yep, 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 yep. I have, like, I maybe four fall. minutes left of their sanity. I watched me fleetness. Okay, what does that do? One second. One rouse check. Whatever that means. You roll one die, you roll one hunger die, and if it's a success, you get to do it. If it's a fail, you get to do it, but you get hungrier. Okay. Welcome back. Hi, Avi, welcome back. Okay, add the celerity rating to the user's dice pool for non-combat dexterity tests. Uh, else you, once per turn, you guys use this while defending. But I'm just going okay. to go quick. Mm -hmm. um, may I catch Evie up real quick on what she yeah, missed? Go ahead, go ahead. Evie, um, you are now with the rest of the group chasing yeah. after the primogen. Oh, Evie. Okay. Um, kind yeah, of like dragged out of the locker room. Sweetness, or of course. That'll be a rouse check. I got a one. I think you actually okay. rolled a one. Is that a best deal failure? Ooh, my first one. What are your compulsions for your clan? You're a Bruja, correct? Mm hmm Yeah. Let me look that up. I don't actually know those compulsions offhand. I did not get any additional hunger. Mm -hmm. One sec, I'm so sorry. This rules check brought to you by nobody because we don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I am not Sam Regal, and this is not critical role. <laughs> I think every game should start that way, right? <laughs> uh, I am so happy that they got picked up by Amazon Prime, let alone for two seasons. Hey guys, I'll be right back. I my dogs need to use the restroom real quick. Okay. 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 
Need to take another commercial break, or? If possible, uh, real quick, I'm is. so sorry. Oh. I found it. I'm looking at my client compulsion. Okay. What's your client again? Bruha. So, Rebellion. The vampire takes a stand against whatever or whomever uh, they see as the status quo in his situation, whether it, that's their leader, a viewpoint expressed by a potential vessel, or just a task they're supposed to do at the moment. I'd say the poor employees at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, any employee that gets in my way is just getting oh, rolled. Also, you, yeah. you can't... I don't think you can have a bestial failure on a rouse check. That's oh, okay. what that was. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. I don't no, mean, you just get that. one additional hunger. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you just get one hunger. So you get a two, so you roll everything going forward with a two. Mm. Which can get scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like how they did it with V5. They, um, it's no longer a resource management game, which is what Revised in 20th was. It's now a risk-reward system. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, how much hunger are you supposed to start with? One, one, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, one. You're right. Unless you happen to kill a human right before the game starts, in which case, <laughs> zero. <laughs> okay. But how often does that happen? I mean... <laughs> well, for my <laughs> hunter, I did take... A my predator, I did take alley cat, which is why I have grappler. <laughs> nice. I just kind of run up on Ooh. people and grab them and feed on them in, a hall in, a in an alleyway somewhere. Oh. Uh, he said hall. He said hall. It just made me think of school for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Guess who the bully was? You know. <laughs> I took Simon, so mine's going to be a little bit more of a scene. Mm. Uh, I'm a scene queen with brutal feet. Brutal Ooh. feet. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, yeah. I Those almost. Poor goths. I almost took that on potence, but didn't think that it was necessary. I ended up taking Blood Leech because I wanted to see what it was like. Which one is that again? That's the one where you, you can feed on other vampires. You got it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, kind of frowned upon, I think. <laughs> Very much so. I, um, I have a lore sheet which kind of lets me skate a little bit around it, but it's, mm. it's kind of creepy. Isn't it's that a great way to get? It. Isn't that a great way to get blood bonded? Yep. And hunted, because you're not supposed to... Um, well, if you eat someone well, fully, it's the yeah, other way. Yeah. yeah. Just don't, you know, kill them. Yep. And you'll be fine. Well, see, the thing is, is I can use brutal feeding in the middle of combat. Yeah, completely drain somebody in one turn. <laughs> in a messy way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But kinda, I can kinda use hard it in the middle to, uh, of combat. Just <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's kind of hard to cover up the the body and <laughs> what was done at that point. So next week, uh, are we still online? Still uh, streaming? Oh God! Yeah, they saw this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, we're um, talking rules and stuff okay. while we're streaming. That's fine. That's good. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was gonna say next week we will be doing uh, kids on bikes. Uh, Henry and I will be here again, and uh, so will Jay, um, who, are, who will be running it. And uh, I don't know off the top of my head who else will be joining us uh, to talk about them. So, Kids on Bikes is an awesome game. I, I've never, never played. No, uh, nothing about I, I just did one uh, not too long ago. Uh, we did a 90s summer. It's just a blast. Kids on brooms, not brooms on bikes. Kids on brooms. Kids on brooms. <laughs> brooms on bikes. That is Potter esque. You totally could do a kids on brooms and just go with it. No, mm -hmm. it exists. It exists. It's a real thing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Of course kids it on is. Kids on brooms. is. Why not? Corners, man. They're, they're a real good. Uh, I like Corners Entertainment. Real good studio. Mm -hmm. And they are doing Werewolf Fifth, which I am so happy for. Say again? Their uh, Hunter's Entertainment is coming out with Werewolf 5th Edition. They're the ones producing it. Are mm. they? Yes. Really good oh, development oh. team. Matthew Dawkins, um, 
uh, Ivan, whatever his name is. Oh, sure. And I can't remember his name, but Victor from Ally by Night. Oh, nice. When we played that, when Werewolf the Apocalypse first came out, we actually pulled out a um, moon phase calendar and found out what moon phase we were born under so we could figure out which class we were. Proper. <laughs> yeah, just to see, okay, well, I was born on this day, and what was what was the moon phase on that day in 1971, you know? It's like, okay. Very nice. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah. Uh, I am currently streaming a W20 game every Friday night for 13 weeks, and it's getting horrific. That's B. Dave Walters who plays Victor. Yeah. Ah, him. I follow him on Twitter. I love him. Yeah, he's good. Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah, he's okay. Um, Noir, uh, Jay is having a problem connecting, so I suggest, Henry, you're going to love this. Uh, everybody disconnect and we restart the call. Sure. Huh? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Unless Henry, you have a better idea. No, no, there's no other better idea. So yeah, yeah. Um, we'll be back in a bit once we get this all sorted, people. See you then.